I've just built this small dart frog enclosure. Loads of nooks and crannies you can't see in there. There's a little tunnel, tunnel behind those leaves. There's a ledge under there. Look at that. So you can see the full build in a week on Friday. So I'll just install the next flight. So, so it's a recommissioned aquarium. It came with that strip light. I've just brought that and installed that. There's a little spotlight just from Wix's, not much more than a tenner. Great bit of kit. Three settings of colour and brightness. Brilliant for just putting a little spotlight down into that corner. 12 volt, lightweight, stripped away the carcass. A good, good amount of light and quite a nice balanced light, which I can change if I want to. So we can have bright white, daylight that we've got now, or just a pale yellow. And if we turn the inbuilt light off, we can even wind it down for evening. Look at that, how moody does that look? I'm really pleased with how that has turned out. What a work of art to light up any dark corner of any room. Just time to add some lovely little dark frogs which are just going to set this off, really treat to the eye. Hello, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> We're out having a quick walk around the forest because I want to get some moss and some dead oak leaves for a little project I've been working on this week that you'll see next week. in the reptile room right now it is again everything's trashed i've just dragged a lot of stuff out we're going to make a few changes so in here the new reticulated python we're going to increase its surface area of its floor space by putting a shelf up here now of course nice gap up there if we put the shelf up high enough it's going to be real snug snakes don't use shells if there's a big gap above them that much unless they're exploring but there's somewhere to snuggle up a tight space they love tight spaces and i don't give it another aspect before we kind of make this a more natural enclosure and i'm going to turn you around hold on realizing yes i do want to get all the backgrounds and done out and that's going to happen over the next 12 minutes but for now a bit of off cut of plastic boarding um that we're lining out the ensuite with you could use a bit of wood in there of course little off cuts of cork bark to tidy up the cut edge and to just make it look a bit more something like and along the back just to give you that same effect but well you can see now a nice snugly tight shelf and I can still get my hand in and it's only one or two screws to take the whole thing down that are actually holding it in place and of course I can get in there and shoe snake out if I need to we've just increased I don't know at least another two square feet of floor space for the snake and giving it something more interesting to explore as well as well as a really nice neat hidey hole the bull snakes are out of brumation and they're warming up and for now they've just got a low wattage low wattage heat oh gosh dave a low wattage heat lamp that's just warming them up gradually but they've had a week of that it's time to give them proper basking temperatures so we're going to put a thermostat on here and we're going to change this old fitting that's up there for a ceramic fitting that is designed to take heat properly put a thermostat on that and then we're going to change around the yellowtail crebo's enclosure completely this larger nest box area is going to go here where they prefer to be because it's cooler we're going to play around with the thermostat settings on here because we do want that hot spot but the weather is warming and if the ambient temperature is warming outside, the reptile room warms up and 
wattages or rather thermostatic control needs to be altered because although I need a hot spot there for these Kribos, they don't like it hot. And to be honest, if it gets too warm at this end, they'll get cheesed off and they're spending most time at this end. That tells me they want a bit more of a temperature regulation and we're probably going to turn it down just there a little bit more. So that's the work for now. I'm going to crack on. So I've changed around in there. Their shelf is now a lot cosier, more secure. And this box hide box in that end where it's a little bit cooler and darker. And then the big oak tube is now not only a good hidey hole, it creates space at the back, a real hot spot on the thermostat there, keeping that all set right. So why wasn't there a thermostat on? Through the winter, a, a relatively small wattage bulb keeps this perfectly temperature. But now as the temperatures are ambient and rising, a greenhouse effect can occur even with a small heat source, hence why a thermostat really should always be used for everything. A small wattage in a warm ambient trapped in this environment can gradually overheat an enclosure. So all set, ready to go back in. Now the Kribos I boxed up out my way, but the bull snake, he's not nervous, so he's not gonna worry about me being in there. The only trouble is the two ruddy inquisitive. Come on, I've got stuff to do. So getting on a bit now, just waiting for tea to cook. Still not had a shower, it's that time of day. Loads to do. Just been feeding animals in here. In the tropical room, that guy's just had a snack. Um, just spent the late evening sorting out lighting and electrics, as you've seen, finishing that off. Um, finishing a bit off the dart frog enclosure. What else have I been up to? Yeah, I don't know. Just sort of catching up on titivating jobs. What's gonna do a deep clean in here tonight. Oh, I nearly saw then, I'm tired. Um, had a lot, done a lot of stuff in here today. It's been a busy week so far. And um, where are we tomorrow? Goodness me, it's, oh, I spoke to a digger driver. He's coming a week tomorrow to scrape off. That's booked in now for the outdoor reptile enclosures that I've gone about on about for nearly three years. It's actually breaking ground next week for sure. Um, queue, three inches of snow or something. And um, what else? What else indeed? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I am like that. So now. what I'm gonna do is deep clean in the morning before heading off to the, uh, honestly, I'm done, to Icarus Fulkery 
tomorrow. We've got Defra coming around on Friday morning. Now this guy's coming around to, oh, I'll obviously report on this next week's vlog. He's coming around to talk to me about invasive species and, and their new project and plans going forward to zoo-like places with invasive, potentially invasive species. I think it's going to be utterly ludicrous and ridiculous, but we'll find out what he's got to say. Uh, my friend Brian, I'm supposed to be figuring and get factoring, picking up an axolotl from him this week. Note to self, message Brian after this video. Oh, and the polecat's been off. Yeah, this is, this is you know, no one can do their job right. So he was booked in for a vasectomy. Um, I've now found out two days later that they've castrated him. Uh, a vasectomy means he can't deliver the goods but everything works which really means he can mate with a Jill and take her out of season. Jill ferrets polecats, they have a really, really prolonged season if they don't mate, and that actually can be bad for their health for a variety of reasons. If they mate with a vasectomized hob, they don't get pregnant, but they come out of season. So he'd be quite helpful if he was vasectomized because his firing blanks, she won't get pregnant, but she'll come out of season. If you castrate or spay ferrets, there is a, there is a small chance they'll end up with a hormone deficiency, which means lifelong uh, drugs from the vet or euthanasia. So there's really good reasons that I've thought about this, you know, and I've gone for the it wasn't this was the most expensive option, the best thing all round. But no, you know, can you imagine that as a man, you go to have the snip, and they take them away instead quite a big difference so that's life it, honestly i was saying to jackie just recently you, you kind of think you're a control freak because you try and do everything yourself but really you just know that if you want a job doing properly do it yourself and and that's honestly as soon as you leave something to someone else it all seems to go wrong and not get done it's an absolute nightmare outsourcing anything um if i if, if we order anything I guarantee it'll be broken or wrong you know that is our kind of luck just have a look around here everything sort of just having a yummy and a feed up Enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> so if you haven't seen this week's snake video, a quest for two rare snakes, this beautiful female alternophase gray blended, gray blended king snake is one of the stars of that video. What a stunning and iconic snake species this is. Imagine finding that out looking for snakes at night. Lifetime treat that would be. <laughs> you know. Kit has been away for a few days, he's in the box. Um, he had to go to the vets to be castrated. Um, and he'd stay with me for a couple of days just to make sure everything's okay. And his sister hasn't seen him for quite a few days. And I think she knows. So, you hear him sniffing like mad. So, just pick the box up. He's a heavy and chunky boy. Mind out. Mind yourself, I don't want to switch you in another box. Okay. Keep these nips. You ready? Ready to see your brother? There we go. We're just in the box. Where are we? Ooh, he smells weird, doesn't he? Oops, that's okay. Charming. Really. It's not the kind of reunion I was thinking of. <laughs> hey, back home, all the smells. Who's home? It's your brother. You usually want to see where you has been in the box, didn't you? Hey? <laughs> it's so loud. Hey, 
bring you back home, buddy. You just sit in a box. I don't need to take you anywhere. Mm -hmm. Wash up this. You don't need to go in there now. Butt sniffs. Nice. I hope you're doing. <laughs> Here you go. Had a big adventure, didn't you? <laughs> See, everything's the same, don't worry. Exciting. You just want to go in the box yourself, don't you? You don't really care about your brother. <laughs> Donut. Well, as you can see, uh, he's doing pretty good after his, uh, his little operation. Two minutes making a mess. I guess he's, he's had stuff done down there. Chatterbox. Again. I can't get much leave, miss. No escaping. That's knackered. That's knackered that is, isn't it? <laughs> 